Another stage of humanitarian aid to eastern Ukraine is over. Oleg Voronov, a deputy chief of the Russian Emergencies Ministry's National Crisis Management Center, said All the trucks of the Russian Emergencies Ministry humanitarian convoy that delivered aid to Donetsk and Lugansk have returned to the Rostov region empty. This fact was verified by customs and border officers and journalists. This stage of humanitarian aid was successful like the previous ones, he said. Russia is not a strategic partner of the European Union, but is rather a strategic problem, former Polish Prime Minister Donald Tusk said on Friday in an interview with Financial Times journalist Henry Foy. Seems delivering humanitarian aid to eastern Ukraine by Russia presents a danger for Poland. The lower house has addressed the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe, asking to protect Russian journalists in Ukraine from attacks by nationalist radicals. But official Kyiv is turning a blind eye to the request. The principles of democracy and freedom of speech do not work in Ukraine. Kyiv has resolutely taken the path of terror and intimidation of all dissidents. I'm not surprised by the fact that Ukrainian police have chosen not to protect Russian reporters, but I'm outraged by the silence of Europe, said Roman Khudyakov in an interview with Mass Circulation Daily. The address was initiated because the recent incident with Russian reporter Evgenia Zmanovskaya of the live news media company in Kyiv was a very vivid confirmation of the current surge in hatred and ethnic strife in Ukraine. In a separate comment, reporter Evgenia Zmanovska confirmed that she had regularly faced insults and humiliation from her Ukrainian colleagues. She also noted that after she and her crew were briefly detained by Ukrainian police in mid-October, Ukrainian Interior Minister Anton Girashenko personally thanked the officers on his Facebook page for demonstrating patriotism and refusal to speak Russian. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.